Hello everybody! How are you this evening? Cooled off a little bit here after the thunderstorms. So I'm doing well. Came from a non-advertising video, an advertising period video to an almost almost advertise-ish video. Now we're gonna go into um, just a little quick announcement. Uh, the Kyle Little Awards came out recently and uh, there was a nice little winner there. So uh, pull the book right. Yeah. My contributor's copy. Ooh, and human acts. The coolest thing about the, the the cool thing about the name is I kind of had a little bit to do with that name. He was like going around asking the contributors, like, man, do you guys got like name ideas or something? And I said like Inhuman Avenue or something like that. Cause I was going on the fact that a lot of noir was named after street. Oh, by the way, I should probably introduce what this is. It's a collection of noir fiction. It won the Kyoto Awards. And the Kyoto Awards, backing up a bit, is uh, basically a awards that's given out by uh, furry writers guild like members who vote on you know what they think the best things of the year is pretty niche award uh, but it's it's also pretty cool because then it's like it, it, it really much is very much the criminal kind it's very much like these people are writers they and they're and they're and they're judging other writers so there's definitely more of a kinship to that spirit of that award than like say the Ursa Majors, which is another furry award, which is more popularity based. So it's more like you have to, it's like, it's more of a, and it's more of a general media kind of award where people would vote on it in general. And it's, you know, writers, you know, you may get, it's, it's prone to what I call fanboyism, which is like where everyone knows like one particular author and this happened with it unfortunately, where, you know, everyone's read the works of this one particular author and they vote for them, but they haven't really read the art, like, they haven't really read everything on the table, because if they read all five works, then, and, and looked at them objectively, and you know, you know everyone who's voting on the thing isn't doing that, but in the, in the, um, but I think in the, um, in the Kyoto Awards, you know, if people haven't really read it, then they're not going to really promote it, so that's, you know, that's the thing. So I do think this was a very good, this is the fact that, oh, you know, Ocean Tigrex, who is the person who put this one together, you know, this is his first one that I'm aware of. I think it was, I'm pretty sure it's his first one. And the fact that he was against Fred, who did the furry future, which I also had a story in, so it's like, I had like two out of three odds to have a story, uh, to have an anthology with one of my stories in it winning, which is great, because, that's that's the secret to success, guys. Put your stuff in everything, and then eventually, when somebody wins something, you can go, "I was there. I contributed. Woohoo! I'm the best." Uh, that's terrible, but somewhat true. So if you if you're gonna contribute, contribute everywhere, and eventually you'll get some recognition by proxy. But yeah, so my, my story, my short story, Vermin Vice is in this. This is, um, they're doing a special promotion right now that's on sale for like 20% off. They did that for like the Kyle Little Awards. So um, I think they also have the Furry Future for 20% off too, even though it didn't win, it was a runner up. But you know, if you go to Furry Reads, then Reads, go out and buy some furry books for cheaper than you can get them at the conventions. But you'll have to pay for shipping. That's the rub. That's the rub. If you go to the convention, you don't have to pay for shipping because you're picking it up right there. That's why it's always, that's why I usually buy things at conventions. Just as a secret tip. But, you know, if you get two books for 20% off, then maybe the, the difference in ship, you know, the shipping difference won't make a difference. And that's another pro tip. I'm giving out advice for free here, man. What do I get for nothing? Anyways, that was just a quick little thing. So, yeah, and also the furry future has my other one, which was uh, the curators, I believe. So, somebody else did a, a review on that, and I'll post a linky to that. Um, it was a positive one. So, of course, I'm going to link to it. <laughs> no, my, there was some other, you know, was, my, my story there was okay. There was a lot of good writers in there, so. Um, there's a lot of good reasons in the Bourbon's Vice, too, so there's more reasons than just for me doing it than you to pick it up, obviously. So, 
Um, I'm gonna get out of here. By the way, I made I made it so I don't have to do this anymore. I have my mouse on the old person setting. I made it as big as possible and I made it black. Because that'll help me see what this thing is so I can just lean back and click it and go, bye bye everyone, bye bye, bye bye, bye bye.